Erev Tov in Israel, Boker Tov on the West Coast, and the U.S. and in Brooklyn and anywhere else that people may be just waking up um, at this moment. This has really been an exciting week of celebration for the America-Israel Friendship League and our extended mishpacha all over the world with over 42,000 viewers checking out our Yom Hatzmut Independence Day celebration webinar with the Israeli Opera and the Not Renana Symphonette. Today, we're continuing our cultural celebration by sharing Israeli contemporary music and poetry from a next generation of voices in collaboration with the Israeli Artist Project. Eiffel has launched this Friends in Deeds campaign seven weeks ago, recognizing that we can't physically bring you to Israel, but we can bring some Israel to you at home. For everyone on this call, whether it's Zoom or Facebook, we want to ask you to use your chat function to send a word or two about how you're feeling today at this very moment. In any language you choose, in Hebrew, in Yiddish, in, in English, in Esperanto if you choose, feel free as well to send us your questions for the performers as they're playing throughout the webcast and we'll try to get in as many as possible. For everyone on Facebook, please turn on your watch party button so that other friends can join us live as well. And for anyone that doesn't know what a watch party is, ask a millennial. The tradition of the artistic and intellectual sharings of the coffee house or Beit Cafe date to the Ottoman Empire and reached an apex in Europe at the turn of the century. Tel Aviv added its own special dagesh and accent. Today, we add a new technological twist over the Atlantic with this gathering. Yoni Vendriger is the founder of the IAP, also known as YAP in New York. Yoni, I know you were supposed to be preparing right now for a live festival in Lower Manhattan with the Yappers when we first met. Tell us a little bit about the group and how it feels to be a cultural halutz in an age of pandemic. Hi there. Um, well, thank you very much, Wayne, and uh, America Israel well Friendship League. This is a very exciting moment. Um, yes, we were about to have a huge festival throughout May, presenting Israeli theater, music, and art called the Aviv Festival. And we can, uh, at this point, just hope we get to do it next May. But um, this is a great opportunity to still share all the amazing talent and creatives and these fantastic artists that you're about to hear, uh, not only in New York, but we get to share them to everyone, all of you, wherever you are, in the comfort of your own home. So we're absolutely excited that we get this opportunity, even though um, we're in this situation. So uh, the more we can do to promote Israeli theater, music, and art, the better. So thank you again. America is a friendship league. So we're very excited to start off the show. Um, and first up, we have Jonathan Hashmonai. He is uh, a leading member of YAP behind the scenes in, in our very own YAP troupe. And he's joining us all the way from New Jersey. So uh, pretend like you're seeing him live in person and give a warm welcome to Jonathan. Hello, everyone. Uh, it's uh, it's so good to be here. Uh, it's always fun when uh, an opportunity for artists when an opportunity presents itself to share our art and uh, our passion with uh, with people, um, especially when it comes to uh, Israeli art. Uh, for me, uh, for me personally, uh, I'm a musician and uh, actor, musical theater actor, based in New York City. Uh, I moved here uh, a year ago from uh, Penn State, where I got my degree, and I'm just really thankful to Yap and the AIFL for for having me here and um, having me just share two of my favorite songs with you guys. <laughs> um, so this first song is called Ahavtia. It's by Shlomo Arzi originally. It's uh, it's a song that I heard on the radio a few months ago, and I I was just disgusted with myself that I haven't learned how to play it on guitar yet because it's such a beautiful song. It has such a cool 
groovy guitar part and i just promised myself that i was going to learn it and uh, i did so um this song uh it's in hebrew obviously um for those of us who don't uh speak hebrew i i would say that this song kind of presents the ideal situation between um two partners in a romantic relationship there it basically talks about how thankful this guy is to have to to be to be another person's like go-to person so so that they are his and he is theirs um so yeah that's that's what it's about uh generally and this is a hafti by shlomo arti <clears throat> בליבי עכשיו, בתוך ליבי, כמו הרבה צללים, כמו הרבה שבילים, כמו עשן, היא רק שלי עכשיו, היא בחובי, כנוף הרבה עלים, כמי נהר כחולים, עכשיו היא כאן. אהבתי, אני יודע זאת פתאום. אהבתי אה, פתאום עכשיו, פתאום היום, כן היא שלי עכשיו. כמו השיר עולה היא מתוכי, עולה בכל כוחי, כמו השיר. אני קורא בקול בני האדם ומרחבי אי שם וכל רוחות הים והגלים אם את תשמעי אותי ואת שירי המתפרץ כים צועק אל העולם רק תשמעי אהבתי אני יודע זאת פתאום אהבתי אה, פתאום עכשיו, פתאום היום, כן היא שלי עכשיו, כמו השיר עולה היא מתוכי, עולה בכל כוחי, כמו השיר. Now everyone's favorite part in any song. One, two, three, and... כמו עשן, היא ברק שלי עכשיו, היא בחובי, כנוף הרבה עלים, כמי נהר כחולים, עכשיו היא כאן. אהבתי אה, אני יודע זאת פתאום. אהבתי אה, פתאום עכשיו, פתאום היום, כן היא שלי עכשיו. כמו השיר עולה היא מתוכי, עולה בכל כוחי, כמו השיר. כמו Jonathan you know first of all thanks for sharing the love I think uh, we all need it at this moment and um, I'm seeing it on the comments that are coming through uh, from Miami you have a Shalom from Karen in Miami oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, we have, uh, 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 Stacy in Connecticut feeling hopeful and grateful 
I, I, I can't even begin to explain what it means uh, to me uh, that Israelis have found a way to pour out their hearts and share uh, with their American friends at this very moment um, and what that means to us and what it says about the kind of friendships uh, that we are trying to build. Um, but I know this is hitting very hard for artists in a lot of different ways. You're used to be in front of, uh, in front of a live audience, getting your interactions from them, gaining creativity from being with other uh, performers uh, on stage and with your bands. Uh, what has allowed you to sort of, uh, you know, sort of continue to, to create during this, the, this really uncertain period? Yeah, honestly, that's a great question. Uh, coming from theater, which is a very uh, immersive and interactive uh, art form, you know, when when you're on stage, uh, you where you pre when you prepare a theater piece, you have dress rehearsals and you have final rehearsals, and and usually those happen without a crowd. And when you're doing it without a crowd, you know, you're just running through the show, you're running through your lines and your positions. You always say, you know what, when the when the crowd will be here, it, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Whenever something weird happens or something like that, the crowd will be there, it'll be fine. And then opening night and, you know, every show after that, it's it's just completely different. There is a there is a whole different energy. You you act different, you sing different, you feel different. So and and the audience really does influence the performance itself a lot and the and i would say even the meaning of the show with different different n different nights of the week it, it it the show hits different because of the people there so during the quarantine it's 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 hard to emulate that it, it you know and with zoom calls like this and and shows that uh that are highly uh interactive we try to uh to overcome that barrier and and it does to a certain degree but it's not the same what what has helped me a lot honestly is think having hope having hope that uh that you know we will get out of this and the the theater and music industry will still have enough uh, enough funds and and uh people who want to support it in order to continue and and uh yeah so that has propelled me to you know keep me on my toes and keep me uh, keep me ready to go whenever it hits, you know, I can hit the ground running. Great. Well, you've got more love coming from uh, Lori and Edgar in Los Angeles and from David just across town uh, Thank you. <laughs> or through the tunnel over the bridge in uh, New York City. Okay. Uh, so uh, uh, starting with Shlomo Artsy is a great way to begin this. I know you have another piece now uh, coming up. Uh, tell us about it. And yeah. what, actually, why don't you just jump into it? Jump into jump it. Jump into it. Okay, great. So this song is called Agadat Deshe. It's one of the most uh, romantic and beautiful songs ever written in Hebrew, in my opinion, by Shalom Chan by Shalom Chanoch. Um, briefly, it it just like many other Israeli songs, it, it it has it's in a minor key. It sounds the music sounds very uh, mellow, but honestly, it's it's just very romantic. So I hope you enjoy it. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> יש ארמה של חברה על הדשא אני דברים כאלה מחבב בנים בנות ביחד זה יפה שיש אומץ לפעמים להתערבב שרים שירים ומביטים למעלה ענן שם בירח מסתבן חושבים במי להתאהב הלילה אם כי הרהור כזה קצת מעצבן מתחת לראשי מונחת ירך ועל בטני צרור טל תלימותה בלט יוצאות ידיים אל הדרך ומסלולן ארוך ומפותל גומרים לשיר ומקשיבים רוב קשב 
בינינו מתפתחות לחשושיות, יש הסתננויות בתוך העשר, כי יש בו כל מיני גבשושיות. כיוון שתרדמה עליי נופלת, שוב אין אני מצליח לאתר של מי היד. אשר עליי זוחלת, ואת גופי הופכת לפסנתר. וכשאני מקיץ אין איש בדשא, רק קצת קריר וקצת רטוב מטעם. ולהפתעתי אני רואה ש... אותו צרור טלטלים עליי מוטל, ומתוכו אליי צוחקות עיניים, ומתוכו אליי מבהיק צוואר. אני שואל, היי, מה העניינים? היא בחיוך עונה לי. שום דבר. שואל גם את ישנת עונה, לאו דווקא, ותשובתה אותי קצת מביכה. שואל אז מה בעצם את עושה כאן, שפתיה לא חשות, אני איתך. אני שותק שפתיים, היא נושכת. אני שותק וכה כבדות ידיי. פתאום היא מסתובבת והולכת. ורק אני שותק עוד שם. וואו, take this across the ocean now. Naama uh, Nahum in uh, Israel. I don't know exactly where you and Guy Mintas are at the moment, but when I heard you before, it sounded like you were just next door. So where are you? And, and tell us about what you're going to play. Um, we are in uh, Hoda Sharon uh, in Israel. It's like, a, it's pretty close to Tel Aviv. It's uh, around like 30 minutes. or maybe 25 minutes from Tel Aviv. So it's pretty like in the center. Um, so yeah, so hi everyone. Uh, it's so good to be here. Um, so my name is Naaman Achum and this is Guy Mintus. And we want to thank YAP and AIFL for making this happen. And uh, right here in the comments uh, where you're from and uh, we would love to hear where you guys all are coming to the Zoom and uh, how uh, we are all here together singing songs that we all love. Um, we're going to start with uh, Hine Hine by Mati Kaspi. Enjoy. מנגינה שמתחילה במי במול, אבל רוצה, אבל רוצה לגדול אל הפמול. פרמינור מחפשת לה מוצא, והנה היא עולה, עולה. לא ידעתי שתברח, לא ידעתי שתעוף רחוק כל כך. לא ידעתי שאותי תשכח. תתחצף ותענה, הנה הנה הנה. עוד 
שנה שמתחילה לאט. עוד שנה שמתחילה היום לגדול, היום זוחלת ומחר פתאום תגיד שלום כמו חלום, ממהרת לדרכה והנה היא עונה עונה. לא ידעתי שתברח, לא ידעתי שתעוף שאותי תשכח, תתחצף ותענה, הנה, הנה, הנה. שאהבה אותי שנה, אבל פתאום הייתה שונה לסיינה, והיא אינה, והיא אינה, והיא אינה. לא ידעתי שתברח, לא ידעתי שתעוף רחוק כל כך, לא ידעתי שאותי Thank you so much. Um, so um, we have uh, one more song um, that I think most of you know. It's called, it's, it's kind of a mesh. We won't tell you the whole thing, uh, but it's based on You've Got a Friend. you're down and troubled and you need some helping hand and nothing oh nothing is going right close your eyes and think of me and soon I will be there to brighten up even your darkest night you 
had a friend oh people can be so cold they'll hurt you yes and desert you they'll take your soul if you let them but don't you let them you just called out my name To stand by me, stand by me. Not my guy. All right. <laughs> so you guys are in Hoda Sharon now, and yeah. what's the mood? I mean, are people beginning? I know things are starting to open up a little bit. Are 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 people starting to return to normal, whatever no normal means in Israel these days? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Um, we both, uh, you know, we're musicians, uh, and so our things haven't opened up yet. So uh, we're doing uh, everything we can in the, you know, in the restrictions of uh, whatever we can do inside the house, and uh, we, we, we get a lot done, actually. <laughs> well, so it's really cool. It's more than cool. It's it's um, yidi It is uh, uh, the, it, it is uh, something that you uh, contributed back to us and forth uh, back and forth, and it it feels like family. There are uh, people uh, from the, uh, uh, the Caribbean who have just called in and said that you've lightened their day in the morning. There's wow. uh, 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 someone in Los Angeles who wants your playlist already, and uh, we will share everything from the beautiful uh, program that, that we have today with everyone who's joined us, whether it's on Facebook or on uh, Zoom. So thanks so much for uh, making this happen and, and sharing some love from Hoda Sharon. And your, in particular, the mashup you came up with is so appropriate uh, for what we're trying to create here. And it's also a perfect segue to Ali Cohen, who uh, is, uh, calling in from New York and uh, has given some thought about how this Bait Cafe Virtuali uh, is also an opportunity for us. And um, Ali, I know you've given a lot of thought to this and um, uh, have some uh, readings and reflections, uh, poetry from uh, Israeli poets to both in the Hebrew, uh, that originated both in English, uh, originated in Hebrew, translated to English, and one uh, uh, that I guess was sort of a surprise to read in uh, the pages of The New Yorker, uh, an Israeli poet. So tell us, tell us about your selections, and uh, thanks for joining us. And That's for helping right. organize this. Thank you. That's right, Wayne. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you, thank you, welcome. Thank you, welcome, wherever you are in the world, to all of our friends. I have my, my, I'm talking to my iPhone, I've got my iPad to my left and my notes to my right, so if you see me looking, it's because there's so much to be said, and I'm so grateful that so many friends and family of my own and of all of us have joined here today. Um, it would be remiss of me to not even mention the song, Yoshi Bevet Cafe, Sitting in a Coffee House by t uh, which I think might have inspired the theme for today. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I come from a very musical family, though I did not inherit the instrument gene. Um, <laughs> and they would say that I can't sing, so let's hear what they say afterwards. Uh, so, so I've be become the word person, and I take words very uh, seriously and to heart. And um, I've, I've been exposed to the first poem that I'll read um, through past trips of mine to Israel. I happen to be the only non-Israeli member of the executive and the, the planning committee of Israeli Artists Project. I feel very alone in that, but soon maybe I will also be Israeli, but I can relate. I've been there nine times. Um, I'm very passionate about the, the culture, the people, the language, the history, the food, and the togetherness that I feel when I'm there and when I'm amongst Israelis. Um, so, Yoshvim Bevet Cafe, Umagishim Betzokba. 
מה לא עשינו, איפה טעינו, מה נשתנה? Sitting in a coffee house, feeling in a bubble, what haven't we done, where were we wrong, and what has changed? Couldn't say it any better. We live in crazy times. So I have to first give special thanks to um, our fellow YAF leader, Yael Beckerman, who without her keshev, her connection to um, her friend who works at AIFL, this partnership between AIFL and YAP would not have come to be, nor would this have event. So shout out to you, Yael. Um, and Keshel sounds like Geshel, which may be familiar to those who know the famous Rabbi Breslov line. Geshel, kol ha'olam kulo Geshel tzameod ve'aykalo lo... I can't remember off the top of my head, it's too fast. But the point is, the whole world is a narrow bridge, and not to have fear at all. And when we travel and when, when we step out of our comfort zones, um, it's really important not to be afraid, not to sweat it out, to just go for it. And um, Yehuda Amichai is a very famous poet in Israel. Um, he passed probably something like 20, 30 years ago at this point, but he was one of the pioneers. He and his family moved to pre-state Israel in the 1930s, um, served in the British army, and became a very prolific uh, Israeli writer, um, writing many books, poems, um, and was inspired by the likes of T.S. Eliot and others. So his, part of his poem, Tourists, um, if my friend Andrew is on, um, he'll know exactly where I got this from. Um, Tourists by Uda Amichai. Once I sat on the steps by a gate at David's Tower. I placed my two heavy baskets at my side. A group of tourists was standing around their guide and I became their target marker. You see that man with the baskets? Just right over his head. There's an arch from the Roman period. Just right over his head. Right, I don't know. But he's moving, he's moving, I said to myself. Redemption will come only if their guide tells them. You see that arch from the Roman period? It's not important. But next to it, left and down the beat, there sits a man who bought fruit and vegetables for his family. And, and it says a lot about the nature of Israel, right? Many of us have, have traveled there. I'm sure, I'm sure many have gone on AFL missions. Uh, we ourselves at Yaf are many natively Israeli or have family there. So it's familiar to, to observe your surroundings, to so maybe observe the street signs and the names of the streets which commemorate everybody from, from Herzl and Moses and, and Avram Avinu, all the way down to the names of the poets and the, the famous people today, and Martin Luther King. I mean, it's, it's truly un 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 unbelievable to walk the streets of Israel and to you know, go in those markets and to be one of those passers-by who maybe the, the, the other tourists or the Israelis themselves will notice and be part of their narrative. Amichai himself says that a poet's state of mind is seeing the world with a kind of double exposure seeing undertones and overtones, seeing the world as it is. Irony was an essential element in his poetry, a way, as he said, of always trying to see another side. That was how he lived, focusing, refocusing, and juxtaposing different shifting and changing perspectives. Almost like a sculpture, he saw it. Um, you know, we, we've all been there, and unfortunately, uh, we, we can't travel right now. We can, many of us can't even leave our homes, although it's a beautiful day to be at the beach or the park. Um, I think, I think some, sometimes, uh, especially now, we, we take solace in the music, and it, it brings our mood up, and it brings us back to normal. Um, Hebrew is a very romantic language, a very beautiful language a language of shorashim, of roots. Every single Hebrew word, it's actually, many people think it's hard to learn because it's got a different alphabet and it's just funny and, and not what we're used to hearing. But actually when you break it down, it's almost like math. You have a three letter root, bump, bump, bump. And from that, you can derive every other word um, that might relate to it. So shir, the word for song, um, is also the word for poem and also the word for remnant. And this is an insight from the next poet, Chagit Grossman, who's more contemporary. Like Wayne said, Chagit um, she actually was born and raised in Tel Aviv. She has also published um, extensively, but she lives in modern times. Um, and with this word sheer, a remnant, she says, a poem in Hebrew is something you leave behind, something that remains. 
She says, a poet is an artist of emotion and emotion is the basis for all transcendent art. To cast a glance from the sidelines, to give words to those who do not have access to words, this is the role of the poet and also of the songwriter. So she writes, and I think uh, it's very um, poignant and very uh, relevant for today, for our friendship that is blooming. She writes in uh, the New Yorker originally, but was published later on um, in Hebrew, translates to English. So it says, on friendship. If a friend calls out to you late at night from beneath your window, never send him on his way. And if you've sent him away and still insist on rigid rules, regain your composure after a moment and run to the window and shout his name. Come, Melchav. Come back. I've got some corn cooking. Come eat something. And he'll placidly retrace his steps and gladly accept the key you tossed down from your window. We'll come upstairs to the first floor and we'll be impressed by the large pictures on the walls. He'll sit and wait for you to slip into a clean shirt and you'll put on the movie in the kids' room and your baby daughter will rush to the kitchen and come back with a red pepper for him. He'll decline the warm cord and, sit and say he's already had dinner. In the meantime, your husband will chat with him about Tai Chi and pour him a glass of cold, sweet pineapple juice. You'll return to the living room and go out to the balcony and light a cigarette and sip a cold beer. You don't yet realize that this is a sublime moment in your life one of the most sublime you'll, you'll ever know. And with that, I, I give a l'chaim of coffee, represent, uh, and I, I hope to see you all very soon to sit over coffee and to, uh, to share better times. Thank you so much for having me here. Ali, thank, thanks for sharing uh, from the richness of the Hebrew language and the richness of, of Hebrew culture, um, um, wherever the person writing is sitting at the time. I suspect that when Chagit wrote uh, that piece and was speaking about uh, calling out from under the window, it, it was not uh, uh, imagined that that window might be a Zoom uh, 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 window uh, where we're all sort of calling out to one another uh, for this program at the moment, but certainly this is a, uh, a, a wonderful attribution and affirmation of, of her words and, and, and to Yehuda Amachai's words as a remnant of uh, spirit uh, to get help get people through these tough times. Hadar Barone in New Jersey, uh, uh, we're, we're ready for some more music to continue with uh, the Beit Cafe this morning, whether you've got coffee or tea in front of you, uh, Hadar, or orange juice maybe, for those of you calling <laughs> in. We have several calling in from Florida and the Caribbean and Los Angeles, so uh, everybody's ready for a little more of, of the music time. Go ahead. Hi, everyone. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe and healthy during these times. Um, like Wayne mentioned, my name is Hadar Barone. Uh, I was born in Israel, uh, raised half in Israel and half in the States. I've been back and forth quite a lot. I'm currently joining in from New Jersey, uh, obviously the States. Um, and I'm hoping to just, you know, lift some spirits with some music today. Um, music is always fun, lifts my spirits. Um, yeah, I'm really curious as to where you guys are tuning in from. If you guys want to write in the chat where you're coming in from that, that's really interesting. So I'd love to see that. Um, but I'm going to kick it off um, following suit with Jonathan's set with another song from Shlomo Arzi, uh, who I grew up listening to, thanks to my parents who are watching from upstairs in our house. Shout out to them. Um, <laughs> so this is going to be, um, you know, that Malveh line. And I've sang this with the troupe, so it's going to be a little weird to do it solo. Haven't done it solo in a while, but if you guys know the song and you're sitting at home and you want to sing along, please do. One, two, one. Do 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 לא יודע כלום עכשיו אני מכיש את צעדיי מסתכלת בחלון רואה אותי עובר בחוץ היא לא יודעת מה עובר עליי בתוך עיניה הכחולות ירח חם תלוי עכשיו היא עצובה כמוני בוודאי היא מציעה את בגדיי אוכלת לבדת תתות 
היא לא יודעת מה עובר עליי. אמנם אין אהבה של הסוף, אבל הסוף הזה נראה לי לכולם. הולך בין האנשים ברחוב, צועק או 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 או, תגידו לה. עכשיו אני ממשיך כאילו לא הכל אבוד זה זז בבטן והורסת לילותיי אני חושב שווה שלי איתה זה הדבר הכי חשוב היא לא יודעת מה עובר עליי אמנם אין אהבה של הסוף אבל הסוף הזה לכולם. הולך בין האנשים ברחוב, צועק או 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 תגידו לה. כשהיא נוסעת אני נשאר, לא זז מכאן אף פעם. הולך בעיר ומתפטר מגעגועיי, חוזר לחדר ונגמר. כותב שירים שר אותם, היא לא יודעת מה עובר עליי. הסוף הזה נראה לי מקולל. הולך בין האנשים ברחוב, צועק או 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 תגידו לה. Thanks, Adar. The, the answer to your question is we've got people calling in from across the street in New Jersey from you. We have yeah, people in yeah. New Albany, Ohio, Costa Rica, Florida, all <laughs> over the country. Uh, so uh, I know you have one more song and we want to make sure we, we get everyone in. So go ahead and go, go right into your next song. Okay. Um, I was going to do a cover, but I think if I only have time for one more, I'll, I'll do an original, actually. Um, a lot of people... People have been doing uh, covers, and I think, you know, we're all artists and we're all, you know, doing our own thing. I think it'd be cool to kind of show that side. I am an original artist and I do my own music. Um, so, yeah, this is a song that I wrote a couple of years ago. Um, it is released. It's out on my album. It's called Upper Hand. Um, and it's just about kind of doing your own thing and following your own path um, and um, staying true to yourself, I guess, which is always important. Um, so yeah, this song is called Upper Hand. Usually when I do it live, I have some audience participation. Unfortunately, I can't do that um, with you guys. But if you catch on and you want to sing along, um, I mean, please do. I sang this last um, in Tel Aviv in July with So Far Sounds. So um, just kind of have fun with this one. This is Upper Hand. One, two, three, here we go. in charge, it must be new for you to recognize somebody else standing in your place. You'll get a good look while you can, not too hard to understand. Oh, is it? You're going down, going down. No, 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 run, baby, run, baby, run, baby, run. No, 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 no,
that original song Thank and you. for keeping this uh, uh, exciting and diverse <laughs> uh, and everything we love about Israel. Uh, original twists, covers, spoken word, poems, uh, exactly what we had hoped for. Thanks Thank for you so much for spirit. having me. We, we really enjoyed it. And for those of you that think that only young people can create and create fun in Ruach, um, I am excited to introduce uh, an intergenerational moment for us uh, with our final performer. We've got Joe Nessa and uh, uh, his son are going to do a few different songs, both in English and in Hebrew, their own rendition of this. And Joe, I know you've had energy, creativity, and excitement about this from the get-go. Uh, tell us where you are and tell us what, what we're going to hear. Well, we're at night. We're in Brooklyn, New York. What's up, Wayne? The show's been beautiful. We've been watching everything. Um, we're in Brooklyn, New York. Um, waiting to get outside the house a little bit. It's going to be a nice, gorgeous day today. Um, what we're doing, obviously, we're creating. This is a time for, for most artists that they're sitting indoors and all the gigs are done and, and you know, nobody's got any gigs. But, you know, the ones that are taking advantage are, are coming up with a lot more, I guess, you know, a lot more new material and, and, and just general ideas which are flowing right now. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually grateful for this opportunity, kind of seeing this as, you know, as a pause on life. And, um, and that's it. We're taking it from there. And hopefully we're soon coming to, uh, to Israel uh, to collaborate uh, with, with some great big performers in Israel. So we have a lot of stuff lined up, hopefully, for the summertime. And uh, we're very, very excited in general keeping our spirits up. Um, we're going to do a song for you right now. Um, we're going to see. If there's going to be time for, for, for a, a third, you'll let us know. If not, it's all good. This is a, a song called Crazy by Niles Barkley. All you guys know this song. Uh, we're going to do it a little bit in our own version. <laughs> Does that make me 
crazy possibly and I hope that you have in the time of your life think twice that's my only advice come on now who do you who do you who do you think you are <laughs> God bless your soul you really think you're in control I think you're crazy I think you're crazy I think you're crazy just like me my heroes have the heart to lose the lives I don't live and all I remember is thinking I want to be just like them Mm-hmm. Ever since I was little, ever since I was little, look like fun. And it's no coincidence I've come. And I get down when I'm done. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe you're crazy. Maybe we're crazy. Probably, maybe I'm crazy, maybe you're crazy, probably crazy, yes, probably crazy. Beauty. All right, we're going to go right now, we're going to do a Hebrew song, um, a song that's by Meir Banai. It's been covered by Yehudim, which is also a great band of mine. I love Meir Banai too. And it's called, It's Lech Ba'olam. Nili, 
Look, if I could give you a hand right now, literally, I would. Uh, what I, I, I that was so amazing and such a beautiful interpretation of that beautiful song. Uh, just tell me, what does it mean to have your son sitting side Maor sitting sitting there with you in Brooklyn in quarantine? You know, you're um, you're in this you're in this mecca of of creativity, but you're stuck. But you and your son there are creating something really beautiful for everybody today. First of all, thank you so so much. I mean, that's really heartwarming, and the feeling that I have um, is pretty much the feeling of just being very grateful. You know, that's that's the feeling that I wake up with and the one that I go to sleep with every day. And, you know, every moment creating with, you know, with anybody, but particularly, you know, doing something with your own DNA, with your own kid is amazing. You know, as they say, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. And, you know, I'm happy. I well, really am. Th thank you for, for not just uh, uh, sharing a beautiful song, sharing a beautiful message, but both of you. Uh, together uh, to, to sort of round out this wonderful uh, performance and community building moment. Uh, all of the artists today uh, have contributed their time, their efforts. They're all volunteers. They've put together the Israel Artist Project. Israeli Artist Project has, has, has taken the best of Israeli ruach and, and found ways to bring it to the screen and now to this virtual screen. And we're, we're grateful for your partnership. We've shared over these past uh, uh, several weeks that as part of our community building efforts to provide a little bit of a hafsaka, a little bit of a break from the anxiety of the moment that we created a campaign called the Friends in Deeds, where we are uh, announcing our uh, $500 food donation of Israeli foods and treats to vulnerable communities and frontline medical staff that are battling COVID-19. So we send a little Bisley, we send a little Bamba, we send some Osim chocolates. And, and if you look on our website, if you look at, at any of our social posts, you'll see medical staff in their masks and you can tell they're smiling, holding up uh, these uh, uh, treats. They're unexpected. They come in the midst of people that are uh, serving uh, excessive hours and under undue uh, circumstances and conditions and it doesn't solve their problem but it brings them a little joy just like the music did today. This week we're sending our package of goods to the medical intensive care unit at the Penn Presbyterian Medical Center in Philadelphia uh, where we had a number of viewers today to try to give them a break from their COVID-19 efforts. Each week, we're asking our friends and partners in this community to help us identify other medical personnel who might appreciate a boost and support from Israel. So you saw on your screen our various addresses. You can submit a nomination there. We'll put up all of the contact information. Uh, you can find it on our website and uh, nominate and let us know about people in your community that could use a little bit of, of, of support at this moment. I just want to give one... Um, Final program announcement, uh, uh, this webinar series that started only just seven weeks ago is uh, in full bloom and tomorrow at noon, you can join us for another special celebration in honor of the 160th birthday of Theodore Herzl. I'm Israel Chai, live from Jerusalem, Herzl's birthday party uh, on Zoom. So uh, uh, yet another opportunity for us to come together, celebrate, uh, the idea of Im Tertsu Enzo Agada. Um, we're dreaming it, we're making it happen, and uh, we're sharing this with as many new friends and old friends as we can find. Uh, we love this partnership with Israel, Israeli Artist Project. They're working on some really cool music videos and other things that we'll look for an opportunity to share with you as well. Keep up all the creative juices. You brought us a lot today. We appreciate it very much, and we want to wish everyone in Shavua Tov a great week, um, full with hope and inspiration and new, new possibilities that maybe we didn't quite uh, recognize were even there. Thanks, everyone, for being with us today.